All right, special right triangles. There are two types of special right triangles. There's the 45, 45, 90, and the 30, 60, 90. The 45, 45, 90 is an isosceles right triangle. Isosceles triangles have two congruent sides. So, whatever this side is, this side is also equal to it. And the hypotenuse is the side times the square root of two. So there's two formulas we can use. First of all, the hypotenuse is equal to the side times the square root of two. I'm gonna put a dot there so you know that's times. The side is equal to the hypotenuse divided by two. Now, on right triangles, uh, you can always use the Pythagorean theorem. Um, so if they, if you get a little confused, you can use the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared to solve these. All right, so here we have our first 45, 45, 90 triangle. So my first side is eight. If this side is eight, then the other side is eight. And the hypotenuse is equal to the side times the square root of two side is 8, so the hypotenuse is 8 square root of 2, okay? Um, for this one, they tell us that the hypotenuse is 12, and we need to find the side. All right, my formula for the side is the hypotenuse divided by the square root of 2. All right, my hypotenuse is 12. So 12 divided by the square root of two, but we can't leave it like that because we do not like having square roots on the bottom. So we're gonna multiply both the top and the bottom times the square root of two. So straight across, 12 square root of two. Square root of two times the square root of two is the square root of four. The square root of four is two. And we would like to leave it like this, but we can't because here we can divide two and 12 both by two. So two divided by two is one, 12 divided by two is six. So my answer is six square root of two. That's a 45, 45, 90 triangle. For a 30, 60, 90 triangle, um, it is also a right triangle. You can also use the Pythagorean theorem to find missing sides. There are three sides that are all different. You have the short side, the long side, and the hypotenuse. All right. My formulas are the hypotenuse is equal to two times the short side, and the leg is equal to the short side times the square root of three. Now, I didn't give you a formula for the short side because um, you can plug it into this and find out what the value would be. So here we have my 30, 60, 90. My short side is eight. And they want me to find the hypotenuse and the leg. Well, the hypotenuse is two times the short side short side is 8, so the hypotenuse is equal to 16. My long leg is equal to the short side times the square root of 3. My short side is 8, square root of 3. So that would be my long side. All right. Um, here we have our hypotenuse is equal to 18, and they want to know what the long leg is. All right, so before I can find out my long leg, I have to find out my short leg. It doesn't ask us for it, but I have to have it for the formula. So the hypotenuse is equal to 2 times the short leg. The 
hypotenuse is 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. For the long leg, it's the short leg times the square root of 3. And my short leg is 9. So the long leg is 9 square root of 3.